Oh, don't worry. There are still plenty of opportunities for me to expose my addiction. Happy Wednesday and welcome to my video. A couple weeks ago, my boyfriend's mother, who I basically think of as my mother-in-law, referred me over to FabFitFun. FabFitFun. FabFitFun? No. FabFitFun. And because of her referral, I was able to get a FabFitFun starter box for only $5. So if you know anyone who has a subscription with them, ask them about a referral box. Fun fact, a couple days ago, I had another Stitch Fix box on my door, which I thought was kind of odd because I was pretty sure I canceled this month's box. But you know, curiosity killed the cat and I just had to see what they sent me. I was absolutely planning on sending it back until I actually saw what they sent me, which includes this adorable shirt, which I love, these really cute skinny jeans, and probably one of my favorite new shoes. <laughs> yeah, look at these bad boys. Oh my gosh, they, oop, don't look at that. They're a little dirty. They are so cute, so fancy. You like that skill, me trying to get my leg up here? I should be better at it since I dance, but <laughs> your girl has not stretched. Look at those gorgeous beauties. How could I not keep them? They also sent me this sweater which I think is adorable and is crazy soft. The tri-colors and uh, different textures it has going on is adorable. And last but not least, but they also sent me a cardigan. Look how stinking cozy I am. Not nearly as cozy as this guy, but pretty dang close. I like the color, I like the softness, and I like the detail on the backing. Again, another 10 out of 10 box. Really was hoping that it wouldn't be this cute so I could save some money for this holiday season, but you know, I'll just count this as a gift to myself. Back to the FabFitFun. Kyoko, take it away. Kyoko. Let's dive in shall we? So I don't really know what to expect in this box. Uh, I had prepped myself by reading a couple reviews which some of them seem to be a little disappointed. Now because I spent only five dollars on this referral box or starter box I don't have my hopes set pretty high. Uh, I am interested in seeing the actual value for this box so we'll do that as we pull out each item. First item is a lovely scented candle for, from Jonathan Adler, Fleur de Sel, de Sol, Fleur de Sel. I am not good at other languages, I'm barely good at English, but I assume this is pronounced Fleur de Sel. Please roast me in the comments below if I really just butchered that. Excuse that noise there in the background, my AC just kicked on. And if you hear a thumping noise, that might be the washer in the other room. We're just killing it today but I wanted to switch up the the layout because uh I just got a new sofa I still have the other orange one but my boss is giving this one away and I just like it a lot hey, who's this candle right looks like average retail price varies between 23 to 28 dollars so we'll just break it in the middle and call it 25 so already I have profited at least 20 dollars on just this candle alone might be smart if I actually opened it and make sure I like the smell, right? That would be smart. Oh my gosh, so much packaging. Right off the bat, I would describe the smell as clean. Like it smells a little soapish. It's not bad, it's a pretty good scent. I like that it's a clean smell. Uh, the candle itself, super basic. Just a white jar with a slightly blue inside rim but smells good i like it do you like the kyoko no over it dope i'm sorry all right get rid of the trash on to the next all right we have some just with all these weird funky names ew thermal avini i don't i don't know don't know what it says. 
Why is everything like in French? I don't know what you say. Mission, pardon, soir. Hypoallergenic. Well, that's good. Since it sounds like it goes on your skin. Let's Google this puppy and figure it out what it is. Okay, so this is basically a healing spring water spray that you would use on irritated areas of skin. Uh, it's ideal for skin subject to eczema, psoriasis, uh, dermatitis. So basically, if your skin is a little problemsome, so basically, if you have problemsome problem, basically, if you have skin problems, this is the product for you. Looks like it's going great. Is nine bucks. And again, I only paid five dollars, so you do the math. That math is pretty easy. You should be able to do that. <laughs> Next up, we have some poor melodica melt nourishing balm. Really like the packaging on this one. Kind of like floral. It gives me a little bit of like a vintage vibe. Super cute. This claims to brighten and hydrate your skin, visibly remove wrinkles and lines, as well as keep your skin feeling hydrated. I assume this is a product you want to put on as a lotion before you prime and start putting on your foundation, so I'm very interested in seeing how this product works for me. Not bad, I'm excited about the possibilities. And this goes for $28 on the website, so again, another product I'm getting for a steal. Last item I'm actually kind of excited for just because I love bath salts. Oh, there is nothing better than coming home from a long day at work. Your whole body is aching and sore from the long week you just had and being able to make yourself a hot bath with these sea salts to help just decompress and relax and soothe your aching body is amazing. Also disclaimer, when I say I love bath salts, I mean strictly for the bath. I don't have an appetite for human flesh. I feel like I stared at the camera a little too long and made that kind of creepy. Oh my gosh! They put it at the very bottom of the box down below all the packaging that they include, but they actually already break it down for you. They claim the candle costs as much as $48, but I was able to find it much cheaper online for $28, $22. So we'd say it's probably about half of that, $24, $25. But regardless, we'll assume that this box actually does value at $106. And again, I got it for only five. Your girl likes to shop, but she also appreciates a bargain. I also like that they include a cute little magazine of their own, and it has like crossword, your horoscope, you know, typical magazine stuff. Okay, we're gonna wrap this video up just because my washing machine sounds like a freaking helicopter is going off. If I had to pick my favorite item from this box, it would hands down be the bath salts just because I am a bath girl. I love to chill and relax. Second place would probably be this pure melt skin balm, but it would be this product. I'm very intrigued with it. I like what it claims to be able to do and I think it would be pretty beneficial. I don't really have any skin problems. I will admit from time to time, uh, for whatever reason, seasonally, I'll start getting like these splotchy areas, mainly on like my chest and uh, like, sorry, bra area. Uh, it's super weird. I don't go out into the sun, even though a lot of people claim that it's sunspots. I don't think it's sunspot. I've avoided the sun since I've been getting this, which was probably a starting four years ago. So whenever it does act up again, I think it will be interesting to try and use this spring water healing spray. And who knows, if it helps clear that up, I might invest in some more. The last item, the candle, it's not that I don't like it. I'm just not wowed by it. Uh, the scent is very basic and I get it. You know, you're sending this box out to a bunch of different people who have different kinds of taste. So you kind of need something that's basic and aesthetically neutral as heck. So I'm not mad at it. Uh, it's just not wowing me is all. Regardless, I'm kind of interested in subscribing to FabFitFine just to see what other sort of items they will send and if it gets more tailored or how extravagant these boxes end up getting. If you'd like to see if you'd like to see me do more Fat Fit Fun Box, if you'd like to see me do I can't talk at all, so sing it out, yeah. Sorry, if you'd like to see me do more Fat Fit Fun unboxings, <laughs> let me know down in the comments. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited for Christmas this year. Usually I don't get super pumped for it only because I work retail and let me tell you, retail kills your holiday spirit. 
but the one thing I can get behind Christmas is gift giving. I love giving gifts. And I'm actually pretty excited to decorate my house for Christmas this year. So maybe next week I'll do a little Christmas decoration video. And I hope to see you there. Remember to please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next week. Bye!